Hello and welcome back everyone. This is going to be the full Streamlabs tutorial. Episode 2, we are going to be covering widgets in this episode. So let's get straight to it. Okay, so when you want to add a widget, it's the same thing when you go in sources, you'll add a plus. And widgets are a bunch of tools that can essentially be useful for any type of overlay you might want on your stream that is not directly related to what is exactly being seen. Widgets are more like tools that help enhance your stream, I would say, if used correctly. Uh, so the first thing we're going to go over is the alert box. Uh, this one is really effective if you're a streamer. If you're a streamer, you, you should have this period because you really want to show that recognition to those who follow you through an alert box by having a sound effect and some sort of cute gif or image or thing that's happening. This really enhances and increases the quality of your stream, so we're going to talk about this right now. So I'm going to go ahead and add the alert box source. We'll add it. And now we have it in here. And you're just going to go to your properties, gear wheel. And now you have this whole other window for your different widgets. And there's a bunch of different things here. We'll go through each of them. Number one is bits. So when people donate bits to your channel, this is what notification will come up here. So on the left side here, it will show you all depending on the specific amount that's donated, which is really cool because you can maybe have something more hype for a large number of bits versus something like a small number of bits. So this is going to be all those different options over here. I have the same thing for all right now until I get it more customized. But and then on the right over here is going to be where you're controlling the visual design aspect of whatever alert you're choosing to have on your stream. Your title message here is going to be something that you can type in uh, when somebody sends in a cheer. So mine is just the default cheered right now. If you want to add a more customized message, you'll want to leave these other commands in here, but you can change the cheered because this is going to be the, the coding that lets the person actually see who it is and how much, how much they're cheering. So you can write a personalized message in here. Again, this could be really helpful to increase interactivity and more intimacy into your channel. You have font font size, text color. This is all stuff we saw earlier in the first video. Just really covering all the different customizations you could do. You could just play with all these bars. Again, I don't really need to get into it because it's all pretty self-explanatory if you walk through it. Next is your media. This is where you're going to grab the actual GIF or the thing that's playing over and over. So you just click change media and you can drag and upload things from your computer. You can drag and drop or you can actually go and find the file. Uh, you can bring in images, you can bring in sounds, and all files is just a combo of images and sounds. This is like a giant library of stuff I've used before had in the past and it will it will keep this saved in here for you so if you ever want to change it at any time this is like a great library to keep that sort of going for you there. Uh, animation. So this is for the animation itself when the message comes in. Do you want it to fade out, bounce in? This is so again. This is all extra customization to uh, what how how the thing is appearing on the screen itself. How long do you want the alert to go on for? Again, these things are all. You could do this for every single area that you end up hitting. The donor message. This one I think is if somebody sends in a message with what they're saying. Because sometimes when people cheer, they might say something like, "You're really awesome." Awesome. You, like they'll they'll add some sort of like personal flavor when they cheer because you can do that and this this is customization for that and then alert settings this is just some extra settings again not super important but your your main things are going to be your title message your media and probably your donor message again if you want to customize that a bit so same thing happens when you hit all these other notes so for donations this is literally the same template and donations is where if somebody donates this is what'll happen so I can give you an example of what that looks like. So we've got this that there. This is a there. test donation for eighty-three dollars. Uh, for biddies, I could do a bit test so you could see. So there's my bit test ah! notification merch. This is a. <laughs> This is actually if you have a, this is if you have merch and if somebody buys merch, you can have it pop up on here. That's if you do the merch store that's connected through Streamlabs, which we'll get into again in another video. Uh, subscriptions. So again, this is pretty important. If somebody subscribes to you and affiliate, that's when you unlock that subscribe button. You might want to add something personalized. Again, Dwayne has been, become a huge meme on our channel and that's my character Sapphire that was walking up with him. So again, just adding those little personalization and like flares could really help. So for five Follows. This is something one of my friends made for me of my character Sapphire jumping into a pile of leaves, you know, sort of festive and seasonal. She actually made this for my birthday and then I was like, yeah, I gotta use it on stream. So uh, that's how we did that. And again, all you have all your same types of things over here for each one of these. Follows, uh, hosts, 
same thing you can have you know whatever you need there raids so for some of these pretty much from raids and below they're all other forms of things that people can do and to show them you know appreciation by having notifications i have not used a lot of these ones that are below raids i've tried to look into and figure out what they all are but i'm not 100 percent sure i looked around and i can't find it out so if you know you could always drop it down in the comments and help everybody else out but yeah let's move to our next widget so our next widget is going to be the follower goal so you can go ahead and click add source so basically once you get in your settings here you can name the title of your goal so for example maybe this is a follower follower goal a uh, goal amount i want to hit 100 followers we're at 10 right now uh, i didn't add a specific day so i've got seven uh, 73,453 days to go to hit 48 followers boy i hope i can hit that many in 48 i mean this many days uh but so basically this is a thing that keeps track of your goals and you only have limited visual settings here that you can choose from in your obs however if you are experienced with coding you can go into the html css uh code page so basically this has divs the, this is a whole coding section if you're familiar with coding the, there's a bunch of different options here for you to be able to customize this further so again i cannot get into that because that is a whole nother concept once again in and of itself but this can get you set up with a simple uh, follower goal and i would highly recommend doing things like this putting things like this on your stream especially if you're new because when you have goals on the stream People are going to see those goals and they're going to want to hit those goals. So putting things up on the stream like this helps everybody build towards build towards the same idea or the same thing. So again, I highly, highly, highly recommend these widgets. They are very important to help growing your stream. Next, we have our tip ticker. So if you have set up your people can donate to you, tip ticker will work in that case. It'll keep track of everything connected to people who donate to you. So click that tip tipper, tip ticker. <laughs> add source uh, and sa same thing here where you can set it up so you've got font settings you've got manage list this don't touch that's coding that's css you don't want to touch that max donations how many donations do you want to show up here at a time do you want three do you want two do you two do you want one i'd recommend anywhere between like three and five probably you can do more if you wanted though depends and how fast do you want to scroll do you want to scroll super fast or super duper slow Super duper 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 slow. Super fast. Wee! Uh, so again, it probably wanted slower so you can take time to recognize people's names. Same thing, HTML, CSS. If you are an expert god coder, go ahead and go ahead and click that button. You will change your life. It will be great. Next widget, the event list. The event list shows everything that's going on, all the events. It's a party up in here. You can go ahead and click add. You can check box here what you want to show up in your event list. Follow subscriptions, resubs, yes. Show sub tiers, yes. Hosts, yes. Raids, yes. Show them all. Show appreciation and love to your followers. They deserve all the love. You deserve the love. Everybody deserves the love. Check all those boxes. You're going to want them all. No, I'm just kidding. Honestly, just click what you want, but I would highly recommend all. Uh, font settings, same thing as literally every other thing we went over. Visual settings, same thing. Source, don't doesn't matter. HTML, CSS, God coder. Viewer count is next. Viewer count, I don't really think it's necessary because you already have that down below anyways. But again, it's there if you want it because Streamlabs offers you many options. You can check box Twitch viewers, YouTube viewers. So if you're doing YouTube, if you're streaming on YouTube, then use the YouTube one. If you're streaming on Twitch, then use the Twitch one. Background color. This, I actually don't know. I've tried it. I don't even think it works but it's okay because you don't really need it. The transparent background's fine. HTML, CSS, God Coder. You can, if you want to go ahead and code that, although it doesn't look like there's any options anyways, so let's get out of there. Next is credits. You can roll credits at the end of your stream. I've never used this. Seems like a pretty cool concept though. So you can go in there and start editing credits. Again, you have all your boxes for what you want to show up on the credits. And again, what the different properties for all those things could be. Visual settings is the same as all the other visual settings we talked about and everything else. So you should be good there. 
And do you want the credits to loop? That's another option there. Roll speed. Again, all very self-explanatory. I believe in you guys. You got this. But if you got questions, the comments are open. Next, we got sponsor banner. Sponsor banner is if kind of later in Twitch, if you get any sponsors, someone that will sponsor your channel. This is a specific section dedicated for that. The streamer can manually add images of sponsors in there. So again, that might be a section to... And like, you can use images for that too. You don't need to use a specific widget, but it does give you extra ability. And if you have it in here, then you'll have you'll have a different icon in your sources too. That's kind of the key here. That will really help you define which thing is which. And sometimes that's enough of a reason to just use a different option, even though you can use the other one for it as well. Next is subscription goal. Subscription goal is much like follower goal, literally the exact same thing. However, this is for subscribers. And you will get a subscription goal once you hit affiliate. There are certain terms that you need that are on the Twitch page that talk about what you need in order to obtain affiliate on Twitch. And then you can start having a subscription button and a subscription goal. Donation goal, literally, once again, same thing as your subscription goal. However, for this, uh, this is when people donate like through your PayPal directly, so that bar is linked to that. And again, so maybe you're saying you're gonna save up for something like a Razor Black Widow, and this is this will show your viewers what your donations might be going towards. Bit goal, uh, what, do you have a bit goal? Same thing again as donation goal, subscription goal, all the same thing. Chat box. This one's really cool. We'll go into this. So chat box, you'll see a lot of people having a chat box. This is, you have all types of visual settings in here and you can turn off certain badges being shown if you just want people's names. This gives you a bunch of toggle features for what badges will be shown. Extra emotes. Do you want extra emotes to be enabled. Will people be able to see emotes up here or will they not be able to? Tip jar. So the jar, you can add a specific customized jar. You have a lot of different options here, which is super freaking cool. You can also upload your own image or your own tip jar. And this is where like pretty much what anybody, if anybody donates or throws biddies, it will fall into this cup. So think about it as if you were a guitar player playing guitar on a sidewalk in a city and you have your guitar case open. It's that sort of thing. And this will have visual indicators that will show the people what uh, what is in your tip jar right now. So this can be cool because it can add incentive during your stream where people see it getting full and it's just another little visual thing again that could really enhance stream quality. Here you can change the images for depending on how much somebody puts in the tip jar. So again if you have an artist you hired or you're an artist yourself you can change any of these and again, bronze represents the lowest amount, silver, medium, gold, higher amounts. Next, we've got our stream boss. So this, again, another really cool visual indicator. This builds incentive, just like your tip jar. So the, the boss is really cool because you can manage the battle. This is where when people donate bits or someone subscribes, follows, or donates, it will do damage to the boss. So if you have a little incentive of, guys, let's take down the boss during the stream, then when people support the stream, this will help add, again, an extra fun element to be able to give back to those people. So you have visual settings, we have a kill animation, background color again. You could change all this stuff, all customized. It's all self-explanatory. You got this goal, you can have the starting health, you can have it fixed, incremental, overkill. Again, all these things you can go ahead and, and uh, mess with. Set stream boss health, this will set it in and then you should have your boss health up here if you set it all up and it is ready to go. Next, we got our spin wheel. Again, this is an advanced tutorial. However, turning, doing, going fully into how these all work would literally make the tutorial like three hours long. So if you guys want specific tutorials in the air, these areas, again, please just drop something in the comments because I will definitely go over it. Even if one person wants it, I swear I'll make the video. So we're good. Uh, add source, these spin wheels. So if you want to do any sort of like cool event, with a spin wheel on your stream. So like, guys, uh, somebody just subscribed. We're gonna go hit the spin wheel. You can add and customize this whole spin wheel to be a spin wheel where certain things will happen. You spin the wheel and yeah, just like when you go to a carnival. I think media share is down right now, so we're just gonna skip over that one. And then stream label. This is basically the same thing as stream events in in a way, but it's it's a little bit different. I could show you. 
So this is if you want something like set completely separate, like I want the all time donor to be showing up on my stream, then I can have this up here at all times. So say this person donated a long time ago, but I want people to know what the top donation is. That's when you would use something like a stream label because your events chart is only going to be things that happened the last four or five, however many events you decide happened. So this is if you just want to call out something that's super important that happened, but it's not on your event list anymore because it might have happened a while ago. So we pretty much covered all of your widgets today, all the ones that are really important at least. And again, these are very, very helpful to enhance the quality of your stream. So I would recommend playing with a few of these and finding a setup that you like. But we'll hit some more areas in the next tutorial. I will write some stuff out and decide what we're going to hit. However, hopefully this will get you started on your widgets now so you can start really making your stream look spicy. And yeah, then it's, it's just really going to add a lot and bring your stream to the next level. So I will see everybody in the next tutorial. Forgive my really gross, ugly background here right now because, you know, just just showing purposes. I know this is beautiful. This is my real stream setup, believe it or not. No, it's not. But uh, yeah, thank you. Again, if you enjoy me, you can go find me live at twitch.tv slash sapphire. We usually stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 2 p.m. Mountain Time. We have different themes for each day, so go ahead and stop by if you want to say hi or anything. But yeah, I will see you on the next tutorial or the next video. Have a wonderful evening. Goodbye.